yes hello hello guys how are you doing i hope you're doing good i hope you're doing fantastic of course it's another episode another time i want to welcome you back to my channel welcome to harni yambati channel kings and queens this is the only place where you can be given the right information, the information that you deserve, where you are treated as a king or a queen, of course, which you are. Yes. So, Leo, uh, kama uwa nina wambia, like I always promise you, na wapatienga vitu moto, moto, vitu fire, vitu kuchemuka, yani vitu kali. Masi? Leo nataka niwaonyeshe vile watu wanaweza kusave pesa. Mtu anasave bila kulipa rent nyingi. Vile mtu anafanya asilipe ange pesa mingi za rent na mambo kadha wa kadha. So, leo nataka niwapeleke mahali ambapo panaitwa anga storage. Kuna vitu zinaitwa anga storage. Na storage ni places ambazo unaweza unaweka vitu zako, uh, za nyumba, everything that you have kuliko kulipa uh, uh, rent unashinda ukilipa rent especially kama mtu ana travel for example wale watu tunakaa hapa hivi unakuta unataka ku travel like unataka uende eh, kufanya project nje kama project like inachukua 3 months 4 months wengine wenda hata 6 months na unaishi kwa rental um, apartment maze zile pesa unalipa kwa apartment useme kama unalipa 1500 every month 1500 that's like 150000 Kenya shillings so e pesa unai save kwa kulipa only maybe like 40 dollars 50 dollars 30 dollars per month utakuwa ume save pesa mingi sana kwa ile month zote utakuwa unaenda Africa so what you do hapa kuna easy nyumba zimejengwa uh, specifically for that uh pap the nyumba nataka uangalie hapa Hizi nyumba zinakaa kama stalls. Ukiangalia kwa wale ambao mtaelewa vizuri, hizi zinakaa kama stalls. So stalls hizi ni za mtu anapewa alafu ana lipia. Unapewa room moja, unalipia, unaweka vitu zako zile excess ama zile ambazo uh, hutumii. Ni nyingi sana hapa. Ukiangalia hapa ni nyingi. Kuna hii section Ah, uh, maliza hivi kuna hii section. And then kuna section nyingine hapa. Utukihesabu sections ni nyingi hadi kule mwisho. Na vyumba hivi ni vingi vingi ajabu. So, kila nyu, kila nyumba iko na namba yake, kila chumba kiko na namba yake. So unakuja unapewa, ukipewa unalipia every month. So ni kama utakuwa unalipa renta hapa. Sasa unapewa ukiwe unaweka kufuli yako kama huyu vinya ameweka hapa hivi kufuli yake hapa hivi huyu ameweka kufuli yake hapa so hii inakuwa ni yako as long as unaendelea kuilipia so uta save pesa mingi sana kwa kulipia badala ya ungelipia uh, vitu vingi another thing inakusaidia ni wakati ambapo for example uh, ulikuwa na nyumba kubwa ama una vitu vingi vinahitaji uh, nyumba kubwa na hii nyumba for instance uh, unakaa tuseme uko peke yako uweze kutafuta nyumba kubwa kama 3 bedroom 2 bedroom so what do you do what you do unatafuta uh, nyumba kama hii moja wewe unaweka vitu vyako uh, pale unaweka vitu vyako pale and then ukishaweka vitu vyako hapo wewe una utakuwa ume save a lot a lot a lot watu wanaweza kuuliza mtu anaweza kuja aibe utaiba aje hapa kuna CCTV zinaangalia kila mahali everything is yani kimeshughulikiwa vizuri vizuri uh, sana so uh, hapa watu wana save hapa watu wanaweza ku save pesa mingi sana kama wakati niliingia hapa nilikuta Ah, watu wa tuseme mtu wako na garage kuna watu wanafanya kama ma mechanics na unakuta garage yake haina uh, vitu vingi so akiwana zile materials anatumia anaweza kuja anaweka hapa so ana rent place kaa hii anaweka vitu vyake hapo na vinakaa hapo uh, as long as anaendelea uh, 
kule pia ile nyumba so hizo items zake zitakaa hapo for a very very uh, long uh, time so hizi zinaitwa storages so storages hiyo ndio kazi yake ku save watu na ambao um, hawana mahali pa kuweka vitu vyao another people in a save ni kuna time unakuta mtu wako down mtu amekuwa kwamba hawezi uh, kulipa nyumba kuna watu ambao uh, una mnasikianga wanakuwa hawananga nyumba na tuseme labda ame ana, anaweza kufungiwa nyumba kufungiwa nyumba in the sense that hawezi kulipa so anaweza kuwa evicted kutoka kwa ile nyumba so, so what they do anachukua vitu vyake anaweka kwa storage of course itakuwa cheaper alafu sasa mtu kama huyu atakuwa anaishi uh, kwa gari kuna watu wanaishi kwa magari hapa mtu anatembea na gari yake unakuta gari yake ndio iko na kila kitu kama chakula chakula ni kununua tu mtu ananunua lakini uh, vitu vingine ni kwa gari tu huh? so ana na kuna mahali kama ni kuoga kuna mahali ataingia oge kwa hizi uh, uh, gas stations gas, uh, uh, pa, uh, tunaita truck stops and all that stuff anaingia tu analipia a few dollars maybe six dollars seven dollars anaoga vizuri kila kitu anaenda anakula nana anaji anajipatia shughuli so anakaa uh, kwa gari akiishi kwa gari vitu vina bia alikuwa navyo until apate pesa hata atupa kuliko atupe zile vitu ama vile vio, vitu vyote vya nyumba alikuwa navyo na tena kuje kuanza freshi so uh, kitu anafanya ni current uh, place kama hii anaweka vitu vyake pale kisha anaweza uh, ku save do mpaka wakati atakuwa amepata zimetosha anaingia ku ku, ku rent tena so ama tuseme job yake haikuwa inamlipa vizuri mpaka apate job nzuri anaweza ku uh, kurudi kwa rental yake tena yes So hizo places ni nyingi ndingine ndio hiyo hapo unaangalia hapo mbele though you confessed tusigeingia pale ndani hii ni kama ndio iko under construction So zing, nyumba nyingine ndizo hizi hapa nyumba nyingine ndizo hizi hapa hivi dogo dogo tu tu ni kidogo tu dogo kuliko zile nilioonyesha pale the other side So kama nyingine nilivyokuambia ndizo hizi hapa hivi na si lazima mtu aweze ku rent uh, ama kujenga nini yake aweze kuweka vitu vyake hapa hizi nyingine ndizo hizi hapa hivi na pale mbele hivi kuna hizi nataka uangalie hizi hizi ni kubwa kubwa hizi hizi ni warehouse sasa hapa una rent hiyo space unaona wanaandika pale they can uh, rent that space to you so unachukua hapo hiyo space iko na office so you can use that space wakati uko na shipping um, project kama wewe unafanya mambo ya shipping unaleta vitu vyako hapo na lorry unamwagiwa hapo ndani alafu watu wengine wanakuja wakichukua so you can do that business also ya kuweza uh, kufanya shipping uh, na receiving bila kukua na building yako so you rent that space utakuwa unaitumia uh, kwa kazi kama hizo za shipping na uh, even courier services you deliver things to people unaenda unachukua unachukulia kutoka mahali unaloweka place kama hiyo and then you go and uh, uh, distribute to wherever uh, uh, customers you you want to distribute to yes that is so guys like i always tell you i'm the only person who can give you the best information the right information and educate you on how you can make money and also uh, save uh, money so this is one way of saving and this is one way of making money like if you can rent a space here 
put your things there you can do business from this space wewe unakuja unachukua hapa ukitalekea watu si lazima ufungue duka mahali uh, fulani so this is how uh, people uh, do uh, right uh, here so thank you so much guys for watching my videos and i hope you guys are enjoying my videos and more of the videos are coming if this is your first time watching my videos please consider subscribing you are the king and you are the queen i'm here at your service subscribe like share and comment tell your friends about this channel let's educate one another guys till next time i'm out